Welcome back to your favorite podcast in the whole entire wide world. It is full coverage. It's actually the best podcast. Joey literally was. <laughs> Excuse me, did you say full coverage? Full coverage. Full coverage, yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. Look at that we said. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> I mean, Laura says things so different. You just never know. You just, Everybody you else, never know. So. You just never know. I have know. my own language that I speak, you know? She does. I've gone to the point where I actually am fluent in Laura. He's fluent. I'm fluent <laughs> in Laura. And Laura Lee. Joey's pretty good. Joey translates I, I know, You good. totally can. I, Joey translates I me. This moment, Joey's like, <laughs> do you say, what are you saying right now? You guys, Joey oh. Graceffa is our guest, by the way. Oh my God, the iconic Joey the legendary. Graceffa. Oh, the iconic, legendary. 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 beautiful. Beautiful, oh. charming. All of it, all, all of these the things. things. Oh, the author, author, writer, actor, writer, actor producer. There's, oh my God, I there's so many accolades. <laughs> You guys, we've had we've been friends with Joey for a, a gazillion Eons. years. I would say. I want to just start really quick. How do we meet you before we do? How, pick and pick? You're right. You're right. You're right. Um, I met Manny first. I met you at a yes. big con party. A big con party. I came up to him. And was like a Hi, I'm con. Con. Ah! <laughs> Okay, <laughs> okay you guys, let's have this discussion really quickly. Let me roll up my fucking sleeves for this. The crush. I had a large century. crush. I'm blushing. How could you not? I had a large How crush on could Joey. You not? Back in the day, like let's say what seven years ago, maybe twenty thirteen, time, fourteen. Yeah, so oh, like wow. yeah, seven ish, eight years ago. Um, yeah. And I saw Joey at a VidCon party, and I went up to have like I, this is like glasses me right glasses pre veneer pre hairline, <laughs> um, pre BBL I think even uh, it wow. was a different it was a different it was person. A different era. I came up to him I was like hi I'm a huge fan I would, take a, I would love to take a photo like the whole thing. I think that's why I didn't recognize you when we actually met. <laughs> <laughs> you walk in, you're like, man. I don't know who you are. <laughs> <laughs> it was a different me. Um, okay, yeah, and so yeah, that's how me. that's how we had met was like well, you that came moment. up to me and came up to you, and I was like, I was, I was like, oh, I'm a huge fan of your content. Let's take a photo. Yeah, and that's what it was, and that's how we. I met. remember it, but we did we didn't like become friends. It was just that quick moment. Yeah, that's how we met. But then, did you guys meet again a second time? That was yeah, specific. Yeah, I think. Um, it was like setting up a collab or something. <gasps> yes, I think oh, that's what it was. Yeah, and then yeah. I came over to your house. Oh, wow, that's it awesome. It was like the era of like yes. everybody collabing with each other. So like I would collab with people I we didn't really know. We collabed back then in that era. Yeah. Do you remember? That was after I met Me you. Me and Joey filmed. And yeah. So we, and I glimmed you, I think. I yeah. met Joey through Manny, but do you remember the first time we met? I know I met him through you. Like through, We like, met oh my the God, Drag, the drag race, race finale. Oh! Yeah. Actually, Jagger I did smelly. meet you and Daniel. Yeah, we all were both at the same time. Mm -hmm. Oh my God. But I this always like wanted to meet ago, you. I mean, YouTuber, YouTuber. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Can I ask how long you've been on YouTube? This is my 15 years. Oh, Isn't that crazy. I'm blacking out. 15 mother effing years. I remember 15? a really, really, yeah. really long time ago, you said, I've been on YouTube for 11 years, Laura, and I almost fainted. So, <laughs> so now I 15? had to 15. ask because it's 15 years. So that's how many years? Four years I ago, was like you told me. One of the first ones. I mean, you, I think you were the first. I think they launched YouTube with you. <laughs> you, you were the I think forefront. You, launched, you were the forefront of YouTube. Mm -hmm. I think that's so fucking crazy. You know, so how many people, because I've been on for nine years now, mm -hmm. so many Eight people me. told me. I need to find a real career because YouTube is definitely not going to be there for a you long still time. Do. <laughs> <laughs> and that never changed. And it and never that changed. Hasn't changed. And I ha still haven't found another <laughs> career. I'm still trying to find another career, and it's just not happening. Mm. But I met Joey. No, you're the queen of pivoting. Like the, the way I, that you went from beauty to, to lifestyle, and lifestyle, Thank like you. incredible pivot queen. I appreciate yeah. that. I, it's I, hard. It's, it's not easy. Very, yeah. very hard. It's harder than people think to pivot. Mm -hmm. it's, yeah. it's a hard transition. It's harder than you think. But I really was like, I'm doing this. I'm going for it. Because mm -hmm. it's so Did scary. Because it. if all you know is doing one thing and your fans know you, you're mostly scared of like losing that. Yeah. And that like audience, not getting the views that you used to not get. Getting the totally. brand deals, the views, all those things. You're you're like scared of walking away from yeah. them. And losing all that potentially. But I, gain, I, feel, I feel like I gained so much more through mm -hmm. my pivot. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, and it worked out really well but i remember when i met you i was very excited i always you were always been iconic especially in the youtube space which mm -hmm. is my whole world which our space yeah, yeah that's what we're space. in um so super excited you were so sweet as usual that was fun I remember, the, I remember like the drag race finale was that eras. season nine finale the was it with like Sasha? Yeah, I, we the, were like, all gagged. Yeah, we all screamed. Me and Manny ended up on TV in that one. Like they panned to the audience and they got us still... to 
get tagged in it. This day. Oh, me too. Almost every single, Same. Almost oh, every you single and Daniel week. were. Yeah, uh-huh. Y'all were, y'all got, they called us in the audience. I'm I know. still tagged. Like Almost every single week I'm getting <laughs> tagged. I think it's so unexpected. I see Manny and Laura. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and yep. Also, we were there for season 10 as well. So yeah. Yep. And like, a, I think we were there for three. All three of us yeah. were there for three mm-hmm. of them. Those, those three of them that three we did. Three of the yeah. tapings mm-hmm. we did. And they're fun. They're yeah. really fun. They're just really long and devastating. You just stay in an auditorium <laughs> for five hours mm-hmm. until like one in the morning. But we tipped mm-hmm. out before they crowned the oh, winners. Oh, absolutely. Oh, like, every yeah. time. Food. Like, it's like, it's literally there. like, I'm like, they crown all of them. Let's go. We, we hung knew. out that night. Yeah. That's when we like hung out at a restaurant. I actually got to know mm-hmm. him a little bit that yep, night. We did. I we met him dinner. for the first time and got to have dinner with him in the same iconic. night. Wow. That's iconic. That's iconic. <laughs> That's iconic. Stop. I love it. I love it. And we've all been friends for a really long time mm, now. Ever since. Mm-hmm. For like six, seven years. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I yeah. love that. Yeah, I, I love, love it that. too. Um, what Peek was and I Pit. Say? Peek and Pit. That's literally what I was going to say was Peek and Pit. Pit. Okay, so Peek and Pit is literally like the one of like the best moments of the week and like one of the worst moments of the week. So okay. that's kind of what Peek and Pit is. And we like to start off with our peaks. Or do we start with our pits? Either. Either I like or. the good news first. Let's always. do good. Let's do peak first. Mm. All I got is a pit right now. So I'm going to let Joey start. <laughs> You're the guest. You have to start yeah. okay. at your peak of the week. Oh, okay. I just launched <gasps> um, my Zodiac collection. What? Oh, my God. Yeah. Tell us more. Tell us everything. I need, so every, I need every detail. I have like a whole line of merch that's every single Zodiac sign. It's like different color combinations of hoodies. With, Even like, Vargas. I have a Virgo, of course. Even Virgos. Um, and cute little keychains as well. Where can we buy That's it? so cute. On my website, crystalwolf.co. I love that. I actually think it's shopcrystalwolf.com now. He doesn't know his mm, website. Doesn't know his website. Kidding. <laughs> it changed because... <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> No. Get that good. I like, lost. That was a good one. Now, like, well, yeah. <laughs> I no longer have a country accent. All her synapses like pew pew pew. <laughs> that happened in SpongeBob, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, got hit in the head or something. Or, like, oh my Patrick god! Did. Oh yeah. Um, what was it? So oh no, no, no. Entire, okay. I lost my domain name, so I had to switch Shut it. Shut up. Yeah. So you just put shopcrystalwolf.co. Yeah, dot com now. Dot com now. Shopcrystalwolf.com is where you can find it. Okay, yeah. so tell us. So you came out with a collection. It's like, do, is there like a hoodie for every Zodiac? Yeah. God, that's a lot of that hoodies. That is so many fucking hoodies. hoodies. That's a lot of keychains. units, honey. I know. You're like, yeah, I know. Yeah. You're like, yeah. So we're like, we're selling it on this podcast. <laughs> and we will be linking down they below. Will. We will. Thank Check you. it out, guys. We're going to leave a link down below, below. of course. With Josie's. With Josie's. With Josie's. Josie's. With Josie's handle. <laughs> with Josie's handle. <laughs> Josie Grossy. <laughs> yeah. No function. She glitched. Laura had a glitch and <laughs> Josie's and Josie's and Josie's. I hit my head on the shelf, guys, for the listeners. I hit my head on the shelf and now I'm like blacking. It was out. a little too hard. It was a little too hard. A little too hard to hit. Mm-hmm. Um, well, that's quite. I like. I like that. <laughs> as a peak. Gotta, Joe, Josie's got to come back. <laughs> Josie, <laughs> Josie, thank God for Josie. <laughs> Josie, Josie. <laughs> I, that's what I was like. Do I thought anyway, I, thought I love that Josie. movie. It's so oh, good. So it's so good. good. By the way, this is what it's like anytime we hang out. Like this <laughs> yeah, is it's just, just constant, pandemonium. It's constant pandemonium. Mm-hmm. So hard to and keep taking up. things too far. Yeah. Oh. We're good at that. The, oh, the best. The road Actually, we go that. down the after the smallest little thing happens, and then we all realize like we took that too yeah, far. Yeah, and I'm such a visual person that I imagine the whole. <laughs> so scenario. it gets real funny. Yeah, it gets real funny. <laughs> <laughs> and the things that I just kind of we, we've said and have imagined. <laughs> I've been taken way too far. We're very Always. imaginative. It's sick. It's, sick. it's actually it's very. Sickness. It's very sick. We need help. Okay, your okay. Peak. peak. My peak. I have a lot of peaks. I mean, I just got back from Coachella. I feel hungover. <laughs> um, that's a pit, actually. That is. <laughs> that's that actually one's a pit. not good. Uh huh. Um, gosh, I'm just so blessed. <laughs> <laughs> she does this every fucking time. She's like, I just, I think that everything's a peak and everything's a pit. Like, she doesn't want to answer. Okay, uh, what's yeah. yours? Okay, I'm going to do mine. Thank fine. you. I'm a, so I'm going to double dip and do my peak and pit are the same thing. Kind of oh, cheating, okay. but okay. No, it's not. <laughs> it's it's not. Cheating. It's the same. So literally, so. My parents like just moved into my house for a week and a half. They're gonna be here for a week oh and a half. God, That's a peak and a pit. No, it's, <laughs> it's, so it's peak and it's pit. It's peak and it's, it's pit. It's peak and it's pit because so they're they're moving to San Diego. They just sold their house. They have to be out by tomorrow, like today actually. Oh. Have to be out today, so they're gonna be spending time with me for the next week and a half, like in my place. And I'm like, oh my god, I'm so excited. Like I love it. Like love spending time with my family. But I know by the end of it, 
it's gonna be my it's gonna pit. be a pit it's gonna be a pit because the, the thing is they Tune have like in next there's week. like two little dogs like they have two little dogs too and is they like Drago to like, pee there? and shit all over oh where's Drago Drago's going to San Diego for the weekend oh half god with my thank, aunt and my, thank and my, god and my uh, grandpa my grandpa has their, my mom's chickens they have a Rottweiler uh huh, and he has the chickens at, oh at his house. So, um, for me, it's literally both. Like them moving, I'm like, oh my god, this is so exciting. Like I'm like loving it. I'm so excited. And then I know by the end of it, we're gonna be like, <laughs> where are you going? When are you gonna? When who, someone? Who, when? When you go? Who fucking touched my shit? That's no, gonna that's be gonna be. I'm like, yeah. why was my room door open? <laughs> yeah. That's... Are you very picky about like where your stuff is? Not it. I'm literally oh, not man. at all. I just want to know where my things are. As long as I like, know in like a vicinity where it could potentially be. Yeah. Even if it's messy, like I don't care. I just want to okay. know like where it's at. Yeah. It's not even that. It's more so just like constantly being around everyone all the time. Cause I, really, I just like to be alone sometimes. Yeah. Where mm-hmm. I just want to have like my alone like me time. And Nick works a lot, so I'll literally just be at the home, at home by myself and just kind of chilling. But I know that after this week, I'm gonna be like so bummed because they're all going to San Diego. Oh yeah, you're gonna be devastated. So So yeah, it's like my peak and pit right now, but I know it's gonna be like my pit for like a long time. Yeah, be bummed out because they're moving like two and a half hours away. Yeah, that's that's. Like I can't just like easily just go visit them like I do now. Because they're right by you now. They're close. They're pretty close now. So I'm gonna be. Dang. Shitting myself, so that sucks. But okay. I'm excited to have him for the week. Okay, well I have a I have a peak. There we go. Oh. It came to her. She found I, it like a vision. Oh. Yes, it, it was a vision, but I think I just forgot. <laughs> I'm not kidding. Right now. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. Let me think. I swear to God, it came to me right then. But then Laura, I got are you in your story. I started talking with you and getting. I almost just farted. Got that too hard. <laughs> <laughs> that was one second. That was one. Se- that was literally Dory. <laughs> that was literally fucking Dory. She just Dory herself. Did you hear something again? Oh my god! The Dory thing got me good though, because it was. It, it's get, like, it, it was, hi, it was I'm Dory. That's literally <laughs> that's what you. it's like being friends with me. <laughs> Um, I figured out my peak. Okay. I had to create a new one because I f- never could get back to the other one. Okay, uh-huh. great. So it never came back. <laughs> but mm-hmm. Aaron's prom is coming up. Mm-hmm. And it's her one and only, I guess. Do you only get one prom? I feel like I went I to two. eight. I had two. Really? You went to eight? I think it was just one. No, I but like kind of because I went to a lot of homecoming. Oh, okay. A lot of dances. I feel like prom is like there's like one prom at senior but prom. But I feel like, didn't you go 11th grade to prom too? 11 and 12, yeah. yeah. I went to 11 and 12. I, I but only, she only gets for one. That's why I said that. Okay. Yeah. But anyways, we just picked her dress. It's fabulous. So I bought, I uploaded the video on my channel, but I bought like four dresses plus I had two. So we tried on like a shit ton of dresses mm-hmm. and then she picked the most expensive one. <laughs> so uh. I was like, great. You have great taste. But I bought her this nice dress from Revolve. It's so beautiful. So I'm going to hire someone to do her hair, I think. And then I'm going to really glam cute. her. Really oh, cute, right? It'll be so cute. Right? Mm-hmm. So I, I my prom look. Uh-uh. My hair, I went and got it done on my prom, and the girl fucked it up so bad. I came home crying, took it all down, and did it myself. Oh, it you're did. joking! How no, did it I'm look? Not. Did you? Did it turn out okay? No, it didn't. Oh it was very terrible. <laughs> very terrible from my doing, her doing. It was just horrible hair, but that's okay. That's I okay. Was, Instagram was wasn't around. Yeah, mm-hmm. I was hetero during my prom, so it just was. Did you? Were you hetero nice. in your prom? Oh yes, mm. very hetero. Yeah, well, sort of. I wore a white tux, so like. Oh, that's it was, a te- it was a teeter. Honey, teeter. He was it was a, it was a gl- uh-huh. It was a glimpse into the future. <laughs> 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 it's a future I can see. Yeah, yeah. it was not cute. Though. Absolutely, it was like so large and like oversized. Oh, like, not fit. You're probably small. It was baggy. High school, uh-huh. you? And a I had to like thing. wear an adult size a like suit, like a real yeah, suit. Yeah, a little twink in an adult tux. <laughs> Absolutely not. I, I was wish, swimming in a I suit. I wish we had a picture right now. I do too. I would love to see uh, it. I need a photo. Please, okay, okay. Please. So then what is your What's your pit? pit? Oh my pit. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, you only shit. get your peak. <gasps> I already have my pit. I'll start and give you time. Okay, you okay there you go. There you go. Um, so my pit is while I was at Coachella. See, I normally have trouble coming up with a pit, but this week, baby, oh, the it's baby, on. the pit was it's immediate. On. I knew, and I know your pit too. I can. Feel um, it. I well, one, I have two pits, so we're gonna get, dive into both. First of all, I come home from Coachella, and my whole house smells like burnt, like burnt food, and I, this is a problem for me because I don't like stinky smells. <laughs> Who loves a good stinky smell? But anyways, I'm like, this house smells burnt. And Ty's like, yeah, Aaron decided to cook cookies at four in the fucking morning and burnt them. Mm. And I know exactly what she did. She put those bitches in the oven and went to sleep. 
Oh. And I know that she fucked my house up. Oh, I know it. Lord, no. This is shit that 18-year-olds do. That's a very 18-year-old At behavior. Four in the morning, why do we need to bake cookies? Why? I don't know. I don't why? know. Why? I, I, I want to see what the cookies look like, though. Were they, I can't find them. <laughs> Were they pitch black? I can't find them, but I already know. It. I text her, and I was Chunks like, do not yeah, they were cold. cook at four in ever the morning again. ever again. So my house to this day, like oh, I just no. walked in after getting lunch and I went back home, burnt. burnt I don't know how many the smell how in my house. So I know she burnt them like went to, to sleep. living hell. like fire. Oh my god! And then also while I was at Coachella, I have a lot of really nice trees and plants in my house mm -hmm. that are alive that I purchased from nice expensive sports stores in LA. Yeah. My cat Peach got really mad that I went to Coachella and dipped out. <laughs> she pissed in. Every single one. And I came home to every plant just like falling apart. Every no. plant. Every plant. No. So yeah. I All told them? Yeah. I told Ty. I was like, you're in trouble. You're supposed to be watching the cats. Aaron, <laughs> you're in trouble. You made my house stink. And... <laughs> I was like, we're going to the plant store and we're going to fill the car with trees again. Trees, all of them. Oh, my God. Do you know God. what a bitch it is to get a tree in the back of a Range Rover and then replant it? They're a bitch. Like, trees are yeah, hard. And they're hard. They're hard. They're hard. It's not I would fun. I couldn't relate <laughs> no, on that one. Like, Truly can't relate on that one. I'm I so particular never. about my plants, too. And now they're all... In a matter of one weekend, they're dead, like me inside. Sensitive. Mm -hmm. Of course, Very, us, yeah. very sensitive. Like, so sensitive. Oh I have a watering but schedule. But too also very I have a acidic? Yeah. It's, oh, and it will fuck take, up your shit, like, bad. Some girl you? told me to unroot the plant and pull, like, every piece of dirt off the root. <laughs> and I was like, oh, no, 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 no. It's going in the trash. Like <laughs> who's doing she all that? There's that. no way. That's, that's crazy. Yeah, she's, she's like, now an outdoor say, cat. Literally, forever. I'm so mad at her, but of course I literally just Zay plays games when I go to places does too. She? she does. She tries me. She'll shit on my bed. <laughs> <laughs> She'll shit on my pillow. She's done it once before. You deserve She'll that. She'll pee and shit on my bed. I'm no. glad. One of my cleaning lady, she's told me she's like, <gasps> she pooped on your bed when you were gone. And I'm like, <laughs> I love huh. her. <laughs> and I like I like looked up, I was like, what does this mean? You it know, I'm very much I'm yeah. the type of girl that I'm like what did that mean? When she turned her head at that moment, what did that mean? And I Google it. Like, I'm very that person. The dog's like this. Like, she's nothing. Just, and, I, <laughs> like, nothing and I'm over here like, she's thinking so many things. <laughs> yeah, like, I, and so I'm like, okay, what does this mean? And it means that, like, she had anxiety that was gone and like, she missed me. And I'm like, you need Zannies. My dog, my four pound dog needs some Zans. Oh. Like, are you kidding me? <laughs> took a sip of water and I knew if I tried to get it down while I was laughing it was coming up I was gonna choke to death and die uh -huh. right here in full no so that so she tries me so she tries me when I go to so I get it kind of like that she shits on your bed it's funny um That's funny it's to actually me. not funny it's a turd this you know what big. you need to do <laughs> you need to assert dominance and shit on her bed <laughs> you need to teach her a lesson <laughs> <laughs> I just envisioned myself <laughs> popping a squatter bed. Let me tell you the something. squatty potty. I just envisioned a fucking massive I ass. Think Joey turd. needs an advice segment on our podcast yeah. where he just gets every really, every month really it. great advice. <laughs> so now maybe he's you need to shit on her bed. bed. Oh, I don't yeah, think I do. <laughs> You do. I think it's good advice. I think it's okay, great advice. Not. That's going to be a hard note for me. Why don't you give us your pit? Why don't Joey? you give us your pit? That oh, haunted me. Wow. Um, well, today. Mm. Oh, no. I was eating breakfast on the countertop, and like I noticed a little tiny ant, and I was like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Another one. Dead. Another, Another one. one. Thank Dead. you. Another one. Thank, thank you. you. <laughs> Another one. Thank you. And then, I'm like, where the hell are these all coming from? An entire line no. of army all the way <gasps> down into the garage through oh. the creases of the walls going into the pantry no 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 not, no, the, not the pantry, pantry. Yeah. it's doomed uh-huh they're so, having so a so did you feast. open it <sighs> i haven't and dealt with it yet but yeah there's a they're lot still they're there. still there <gasps> I'm gonna trailing. deal with it when I get back. I'm thinking of a like trailing the movie. on. <laughs> they're gonna be so upset when they're all like. <laughs> no, like they're everything. gonna be so upset when they get in that pantry and they find out everything's gluten free and healthy. <laughs> yeah, they're, they're no sugar so in there. They're, they're like, like where the fuck is the sugar in this house? Wrong fucking pantry, dude. <laughs> yeah. So healthy. Go to Lorley. <laughs> yeah, he sends them to my house. He sends them. Joey's gonna be like, sorry, wrong house, bitches. Yeah. <laughs> they look at you like. <laughs> Why are they imagining ants like this? They're so bad. You fucking asshole. 
<laughs> he's like, well, he says oh, my address. My Here's the address. <laughs> yeah. See that that we took it too far. We took it too far. And on that that's one. Uh, that's what we're talking about. We take it a little too far sometimes. <laughs> Ty said, take a break. Thank you, Tyler. We will be taking a break. So we'll be right back. after this. After this. Thank you to Adam and Eve for sponsoring this portion of Full Coverage. You guys, Adam and Eve is so amazing. They have literally everything you could possibly need for a, a sex positive experience when it comes to you or your partner, anything like that. You guys, they have literally everything you could possibly need. Videos, lingerie, toys, everything you can need, they got it. Everything. So here's the really cool thing. They're offering 50% off on just about any item. And more than that, Adam and Eve wants to make your life easy. They're offering discreet shipping for your privacy as well as priority plus free shipping on your entire order. With code FULL, of course. Absolutely. You guys, we are, of course are over here. We are sex positive on full coverage. And we just think it's really, really cool that you can go to a website and find so many different things things i have mm -hmm. bought lube from there before oh have you i now? have i have i bought lube from there before and, and you know you they make it easy careful? i sure did <laughs> and they just make it an easier experience especially when it's like you want it to be a little more discreet. not everyone wants it to be so like in your face hey here's a vibrator right you know what i mean i feel like that's what makes it a lot more easy is that they do is discreet packaging and 50 percent off almost any item plus free shipping that's kind of great i think it's an amazing deal so you guys don't forget to use the code fool that's F O O L at adamandeve.com. It's an exclusive offer and it's specific to our podcast. So the code is full. Be sure and check it out. Plus free shipping. Hey guys, and we are back on the podcast. I feel like they just need to know the breaks aren't even that long. They're like <laughs> one minute. Cause I always am curious when they say we're taking a break, break. I'm like, is it 20 <laughs> minutes? Is it half an hour? Sometimes the break is literally two seconds. <laughs> I want, you to know that. I want you to know we're that. We're taking a break. I want you to know that. And we're back. You know <laughs> yep. We're taking a break. Okay. And, and we're, we're back. back. That's sometimes what it is. That's that all wild. Wow. But like the one before this that we filmed before this though, like it was like, okay, we're gonna take a break. And then we actually went eight. Oh, oh yeah, okay. so and then we sometimes. Came back. So sometimes yeah. it just kind of depends. Like if we're like, okay. should we just power through? Sure. And then we'll power through. We have some questions we want to ask Joey. We, wrote, we have a list of questions down and we wanted to just kind of go in Let and dive in and deep dive and go in. So our first question is, since you've been on YouTube for 15 years, do you ever feel burnt out creating content for so long? Yeah, I feel like I've recently <clears throat> been in a burnout, but I feel mm. like I'm coming out of hibernation right yeah. now. Yeah, like a phoenix. Yeah, like this phoenix past, rising. especially like during COVID times, like I had yeah. to like switch up content because like collabs were not a thing anymore. Yeah. Um, I switched to like animal content rescuing mm -hmm. and I'm a little burnt out of that okay. for now. So that's I wanna, a lot. I that's so out. much. It's a lot. It is. And so how you, so have so you thought about like what you would want to pivot yeah. to? Like what kind of, what, what entices you, what like excites you for content? Mm -hmm. I'm going to play around. I really like You like being a beauty guru, of course. Yeah, of course. Uh, I like being a beauty guru. Have you seen the Jubilee videos? I the love videos? the Jubilee videos. I kind of want to do some of that just for fun. I think yeah. it'd be really cool. Just yeah. like get it out there and yeah i think you it. should because then you also know a ton of people yeah you could do videos like that with them oh yeah like if you're like oh explain, like a ton of like explain what those are okay so it's basically like little mini social experiments mm -hmm. so for instance one of the videos i'm gonna do is i'm gonna get 12 strangers and i'm gonna have to guess their zodiac sign <gasps> um so just like off That's the cuff cool. like meeting them for two seconds yeah like, yes what's your sign um and then other ones like blind dating Five guys based off wow. their outfits. Yeah. Um, there's so there's also like, like um, what, like uh, ten people like judging like outfits, like putting people in a row for outfits or oh, like. That's really there's cool. There's like okay, five people. You ask them a question, strongly agree, disagree, and you like line up next <gasps> that's so and like what they cool. like what these different people from different walks of life will answer. Yeah. How so are you gonna are you gonna is. get random people? Um, I'm gonna do like yeah. A mixture, a mixture of YouTubers mm -hmm. and random people. Yeah. I want to be in one. Okay. I do too. Yeah. Get us both in one. All right. It'll be fun. I want to yeah, be one. I think you really, really um, fun. One time, talking about the Zodiac sign, I was, one time a person walked up to me when I would like hear me talk for maybe two minutes and then they told me my Zodiac sign. It, I was on the Dr. Pepper thing where we uh -huh. did the zero gravity and it was like a bunch of influencers. Yeah. I was, I think the only person from beauty. So I was like meeting everybody and I can't remember who it was. It was another big in creator and they were like, um, you're a Virgo. And I That's was like, "That's so weird that they said that to you." I am, and they're like, "I know, I can tell." I was wow. like, "What the That's hell did so I say?" Weird. Isn't that interesting? Yeah. Super interesting. 
I think it's it like blew so, my mind. The zodiac thing is really, really fascinating. I love it. Me. I'm so obsessed. I'm I like, know you. Yeah. I know you. I mean, you just yeah. zodiac. Collection. The only time I really start to disagree with zodiac stuff is when people start blaming their behavior on it. Like yeah, you don't act and do poor things and blame it on a zodiac sign. That is the only time it's I'm like, bitch. No, you're crazy. Oh, it's my sign. It's because yeah. I'm it's this. It's because I'm this. No, it's because you're being a bitch. <laughs> Mm -hmm. I, I, I That's mean, gonna be Joey's and video. That? And, and what sign? There's just so was many. The I can't one? even. Um, I can't even. Aries. Describe. It that's was the. One. the it that's was. The, I don't think that's the one. <laughs> I actually think you more water sign area. Uh, yeah, water sign. Uh, mm -hmm. So that's kind of what I was thinking. But I feel like it's. I feel like it's fun. I feel like there's actually a lot of similarities and things. Like I am. I know a I lot do. of Virgos. I love, which is crazy. Virgos are like, good. I just love Virgos. Like mm. they're a really good sign. I'm biased, but they're good. And yeah, they're so humble we don't have, too. We don't. Mm, yeah. Mm, yeah. Sure. Humble. Absolutely. We'll take so humble. It. Mm -hmm. But I'm um, no, I, I really like. I feel like it's to a point. I like I it to this, an extent. I think this is a genius idea. Well, it's not like an original idea. Yeah, right. But still, <laughs> you want to do it's it. Cool. And it fun I think just it's to cool get back to into the swing of things with YouTube because it's what channel been, are you so going to upload that on? That'll be my main. Oh, so I, have, I have my gaming channel. Yep, so yeah, I the have reacting channel, a vlog channel, and I have a react. So I have like four channels. Mr. Beast does. It's a thing. Yeah, it's normal. Um, especially for somebody who's been on YouTube for 15 years. I think yeah. it's very normal. I have two channels already and then full coverage is my oh, third. Yeah. So I'm yeah. nine years in, I'm already on three channels. Yeah. So I think it's super I normal. Two. I like when third. people have multiple channels. Yeah. Like I love it. Yeah, I love it. Kind of content. Yeah, this exactly. is different content. Yeah. Which one do you like the most? Yeah. Which, which of your Currently, channels? Currently right now, I'm yeah. super into my gaming channel. <gasps> okay. What are, what are yeah. you gaming? I mostly just play Minecraft. I was gonna say Minecraft. You That's must like the one. be a fucking pro at Minecraft. I'm not. You think? What? I'm not. I've had really? How many years have you had that Minecraft channel? I know a lot. Eight years. Oh god. Yeah. Almost. And you're not pro? Almost when I started. You started Actually, that. maybe longer. Maybe ten. Did you see Mr. Beast whenever he did? Oh, the, that was so cool. Minecraft challenge. Whenever he paid like someone, how much money was like a hundred thousand? Like something crazy to build like a crazy. Mi Whoever they had, like, three built days, the crazy. Like, a week to build week something to insane build in Minecraft. The most insane. Yeah, Minecraft. Thing, Sculpture and whoever won got like a hundred thousand oh, dollars. Wow! It, uh -huh. what, you should watch the okay. episode. It is mind blowing. I want you to make did. Mr. Beast content. I want you to be no. on. <laughs> I want you to. Um, that kidding. is too it's much. Too much. It's it is too much. too much. But it's I would terrifying. love. I would to love see... to be in one of yes. his, but I don't want to produce that. That's no. way too much. No, 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 no. my brain doesn't just he, work like that. He's a superpower. No, he has a superpower. Yeah, he does. Like he's. I've listened to him insane. because I'm always interested in analytics and like why people do things like that and like mm -hmm. how people get there. And so yeah. I've listened to him on every podcast, every interview oh, okay. ever. I know a lot about him because of that. Um, but because um, it's interesting to me, you know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And he's a very interesting person. But yeah, he he's extremely intelligent. <laughs> Poor Laura is so cold. I can tell. <laughs> Are you? <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. Are you? Okay, we're gonna go to the next question. Yeah. Ready? So Joey, have you? You know, as two rookies ourselves. Two what? Have you, rookies. rookies. Not rookies. No, what are we? What's it called when you're like Rookie. veterans? My bad. As two I'm veterans ourselves. Rookies. Have you ever had to deal with drama online? We haven't. So we were just wondering. So yeah, we, we, we haven't. So we were just curious. That's what he's getting at. We've never. Yeah, we've, oh never my God. we've never had to like, we just want to know what it's like. We would like, have you had, have you oh, been through? We've just never had never. to. Never. Mm -mm. um, yeah, I mean, <laughs> last <laughs> summer was iconic. It was, Joey. Oh. It was iconic. Let's talk about it. Okay. Let's talk about it. Yeah, let's talk about it. Okay. When Gabby Hanna mm -hmm. did that expose video, like her, her version of expose. Yeah. What was going through I your mind? What your, what your I want to know what was going on through your fucking mind. Okay, so it ha I need I, true tea. I had an I need inkling that it was coming because Did how? She, she posted on her like Patreon or something like mm. the list of people she was coming after. So uh, what? Escape the uh, night was like one of the things that okay, she was going to talk about, and so I knew it was coming, and I was like, I don't know when it's going to be. It was like a few days after I landed in London. Mm. Um, I was actually on a date when no. someone texted me that she posted the video. Oh. And I was like, like sir, I'm freaking out. I was like, like, I gotta sir, go. I'm so sorry. I, have I gotta to go. go. I gotta go. And so I went back to my apartment. Were what? you raging? Yeah. So it, so it happened. So you were at your on a date and mm -hmm. then you got the text. Yeah. And then you're like. I, I was like trying to concentrate and I couldn't. It's I was like, yeah. oh my God, oh my you're God, like, oh my God, yeah. oh my God. Like I could, I, I was just you're getting so. Worked up. Yeah. You get I'm so a Taurus. Up I have Taurus rage. Okay. So it, it builds up. Mm -hmm. And so it was like a long time coming because obviously like I had a lot of feelings towards her that totally. I've been keeping in all these Forever. years. Mm -hmm. 
And finally, it was like, okay, she wants to open this gate. Let's open this the, gate. The flood. If, if the floodgate is opening, mm -hmm. so I like started like instantly tweeting. I was like, I think I said like, oh, it was something along the lines of, she wants to start. Let's go, bitch, or something like that. Is that what you did? Yeah, it was. Something I can't. Like even, that. I honestly cannot even. Did remember. you tweet that day? Immediately, right when Immediately. she posted the video, I was like, oh, like, she wants to it. start. Let's go. You're like, so let's fucking fight right yeah, now. Literally, because yeah. I'm like, I'm all like you were full like of you adrenaline. were literally yeah. your, your skin I was bet boiling. your heart was just like pumping yeah it was mm -hmm. like and i was just like watching the video and just like yelling at my screen like oh my god oh my god like, like lies, yeah, yeah. lies of manelli yes yes and i was just like oh my god she's twisting the truth and i was so scared because she's very good at manipulating mm. like she's she's good at it like mm -hmm. she's so good at like making you feel bad for her that i was like oh my god okay hopefully people aren't going to like believe her, but like I can see why they would because she's so convincing. Right. And I so I was it. freaking out. I was already like planning like my response. Mm -hmm. And before I could even say anything, Miss Rosanna Pansino. She went off. Rosanna she doesn't speak up either. She don't do that. She, she don't do that. Up. Without, I didn't she even went ask off on Ro anything. Like mm -hmm. I, I didn't talk to Ro anything. And I saw that she tweeted mm -hmm. and I was like, oh my God. Like if anyone, anyone from the cast could have said anything, but Coming from Ro, it was She's so, so much more effective. Yeah. It's like so like like it's her because it's, it's like such a reliable. Yeah, she doesn't get into drama with anyone. She's not problematic in any way, shape, or form. She was it's there. From, like, a, she, she was there. Saw everything. I mean, she made it further than Gabby, and so mm -hmm. she witnessed more things than even I witnessed because mm -hmm. of the trailers that they shared, the makeup stuff. Oh right. So she went in and totally just. It was like I didn't even have to do anything at that point. You didn't have That's to. Awesome. But I still wanted to share my side of the story mm -hmm. because she was coming for me and like and I'm not just a night. YouTuber. Night, like of course. I am a producer. This is yes, my show. Like show. professionally, this is what I want to be doing. Yeah. And so for her coming at me with my set that represents me as a creator, mm -hmm. I was like, oh no, no, no. Like I need to Nip clear this. this up. Clear yeah. the clear the clear the mm -hmm. name. You need to clear the air. How was the response for you, like on your on your <clears throat> socials? Like, was it like, oh, oh my, my god, god. This is insane? Or, it like, was. What was it like? Because I felt like it got wild. Yeah, it it was a lot of support, and I did. It was weird because I felt bad for Gabby at the yeah. same time. I did. I, did I felt bad for the same time. Because, I did yeah, I did. it's like you, you don't know want... I love you more than anything, and yeah. I had only heard good things from Escape the Night. Yeah, you know, and I, I support been on Escape you. The Night. But you know what it's like I, to get that hate. I yes. know yes. what it's like to get that kind of hate and have videos made about you with my hands tied behind my back yeah. and be feeling enraged and like mm -hmm. wanting to do something. Yeah. The thing with Gabby is like we were friends. Yeah. yeah. And like. There's still a part of me that really cares about her. Like totally. I still see I videos like of her, and I'm like, I, Gabby I kind too of a little. Like, I mean, I do. Yeah. yeah. Like I want to like maybe mend this relationship in the future. Oh, but, that's really. amazing, but the thing Joey. Is, I don't know if she would ever get to the place where I think she, she could would. apologize. I think. Um, I right. think. I think Gabby. will... I think it's gonna take time, but I. I see Gabby. I think she's gonna get there. I think she's gonna apologize. I don't know. It's. It's. That's the part that's so frustrating because we had a text conversation. Mm years before this happened where like I confronted her and it was the most like exhausting thing to just get her to understand where she went wrong. Oh, okay. And so like still for saying. her to like continue this, but yeah, like I still see videos of her and I'm like, oh, like I miss her because mm -hmm. there's like, there is a part of her that is really good. Yes. There, like, is. She, there is. There is. I, I've had is, great interactions with I've had good yeah. interactions with Gabby. Mm -hmm. Like she's a good person, but there's just something that it's hard for her to wrap her mind around her being in the wrong. Yeah. And, like, if she can come yeah. around to that, like she could have ended this so quick if totally. she just admitted her faults and moved on. Yeah. And said, I'm sorry and mm -hmm. moved on. I, whenever I went through my drama, oddly enough, Gabby Hanna was one of the few influencers mm -hmm. that would talk to me. Yeah, same and with me. And she actually was, I, she didn't condone what went wrong, but she was there for me. So mm -hmm. like in that way, I just see good. I do see good yeah. in Gabby. And then I've sat back and watched all this unfold mm -hmm. and I hated every minute of it. So it's like one of those things where it's but like But I've you. never been a Gabby basher because no, she's yeah, never yeah, come yeah. for yeah. me. Yeah. And if mm -hmm. anything, when I was in a dark time when no one would be there for me, oddly enough, there was Gabby Hannah. So yeah. that's why I'm always like, have like, in like you, cause you knew her so well, you have mm -hmm. a soft spot for her. We actually like, yep. you have similar histories with our parents. Like, okay. Having like I know that. parents mm -hmm. with like drug abuse mm -hmm. so we connected on that level and like we had so many heart to hearts even like during all her scandals like i was there to support her and totally. stuff like behind the scenes so like we did have a strong connection but 
that's why I think it hurt me so much on Escape the Night is because like she's you making felt like this you're a good so friend. Like you're a good friend to me. her. Like why, yeah. are, why are you doing this to and me? And I know like, that yeah. hurt. Just that shit hurt. I know that hurt. Like, yeah. Mm -hmm. Like I'm supposed to be your friend and you're making this hell for me. Like, yeah. Please just stop. Yeah. I mean, as someone that I was on Escape the Night personally, like it was such a great experience. And I did definitely like I'm not over here bashing Gabby, but I definitely did speak up and was like as someone who was on this game tonight, I definitely tweeted about it too. I was yeah. like, I had the most amazing experience with Daniel and with you and it was so good and it was such a positive experience for me that I didn't want it to be like tainted from anyone's like, and listen, that, that could be her experience for sure. But if the vast majority is positive, then like you want that to be the forefront. It's yeah. not like that, yeah. it was like the outlier experience. It wasn't right. like what it actually was. And that's why you had so many people that were like, no, I actually had an amazing, amazing time. Yeah. Cause you guys literally did bend over backwards for we us. Did, yeah. Yeah. I mean, hello, it's like also like, it's a bunch of like bigger creators. Mm -hmm. They're also all your friends. And you yeah, want exactly. like, it's a production though. At the end of the day, it's not like it's like the small thing you guys escaped tonight. For those who don't know, Escape Tonight, Joey, it was Joey's show. He How was, many seasons was it? It was a lot. Four. Four. Four seasons. Four seasons. So it was his show and it's like, big production value it's not like yeah. a small it's a real show filming like this is the real yeah, deal it's like, and it's, it's a real millions set and millions, millions of dollars, of dollars yes. going into it and extremely tons amount of workers going yeah, into like it hundreds to put of this thing, people on set set to put mm -hmm. this thing on to make it happen so this was big whenever gabby hannah had made a video speaking very poorly about her experience about yeah. it whereas almost everybody else who was on even colleen i remember there were so mm -hmm. many who were on skip the mm -hmm. night yeah, it was, spoke that up. was amazing to get the support of the cast like it just felt so nice like yeah. to validate everybody support yeah because yeah. yeah. i mean because it, it was crazy it was like very in, it was insane the thing is though when you're on a production like that it's not like easy it's never going to be easy. it's not going to be easy it's, it's very much like hurry up and wait you know what i mean where it's like you get there because you have like a certain call time yeah and then it's like there's so many things that could possibly go wrong or things that could happen right. that you're like you just have to be patient and kind of roll but with the i punches. will say out of all the sets that i've been on this was probably one of the ones that is the least amount of hurry up and wait because during that season no, during like any season. Oh, okay, it's yeah, like uh -huh. there there are periods where you are waiting. Yeah, but it's but like there's so much action that you're having, mm -hmm. and you're you're on set with like a bunch it's of chill. friends. You're it's literally so in a chill. RV you're in together. luxury. Like mm -hmm. it's so fun. Like we bonded so much during that time. Whereas like when you go on set for like any Hollywood thing, you just go to your trailer by yourself. Yeah, mm -hmm. you're not with like, your buddies, it's lonely, your friends. And mm -hmm. like, you will be waiting like hours and hours. Yeah. Whereas this, it's like, you get there, you go through hair and makeup, you wait a little bit, we're all chilling. And but then you go on chill wait. It's like yeah. chill waiting. Mm -hmm. It's like wow. chill waiting. It's like, yeah, you get there for hair and makeup, but then you get to chill and wait and then you do the show and that's yeah. what it is. So it's not, it wasn't like the same experience. And, and like, and I understood where it's like, Maybe if you're not ready to have that experience and not be prepared for that, it's going to be hard. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like, it's mm -hmm. going to be hard. Like, oh, my God, I wasn't expecting this. I didn't know what was going into it. But, like. Okay. Our next question has to do with Escape the Night, too. What okay. is the best thing about Escape the Night? If you could take one thing away, is like, this is the best. And what's one thing that was just, like, the worst thing having to deal with? And, like, on Escape the Night. Like, something that you're season. just like. Whoo! Season three was obviously my favorite. Season three. Yeah. The one Who that was Manny on was season three? Manny, Manny and Nikita. Um, oh, that Colleen, was fun. Matt it was Pat, us, an iconic Tila. season. Sophia. It was, yeah, Sophia. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, it was so fun. Um, one thing I would take away. Um, I mean, season four there was just so many issues. Like there was so much that mm -hmm. went wrong. It was tough. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Just so, with, just in general, like the whole the whole season. I mean, I, I would love to, like, redo that season. Oh, mm -hmm. really? Yeah. I feel like you're and missing me as a, and have Laura back to me. Laura. Or Laura on I actually <laughs> wanted to go back as well as for All Stars. It's one of those oh, things Oh, that was an I, All Star like, season. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, my God, I forgot. That's, like, you one guys of my did biggest that. regrets is not having you on. But, for sure. but there was, like, issues going on with that, too, though, because it was, like, I was in the heat of a lot of heat. Oh, okay, okay. At, okay. At like, and so okay. it was kind of like a thing where okay. it was like production wise, where it's like, if we have Manny Way, oh, is the show going to get a lot of hate? Because this is like when I was going through a time mm -hmm. that was not like Good. favorable yeah. for me in yeah. any way, shape, or form. Yeah. So I understood mm -hmm. that yeah. it was something that I had to like kind of like work through myself and like it just took time. Mm -hmm. But I do like low key wish I was on it. I know. Me too. Season five. Yeah. Because I, I have to do another one. Season me and Laura both on it. Thank you so much to Framebridge for sponsoring this portion of full coverage. You guys, let me tell you about something. 
which is so cool, this new service, basically it's called FrameBridge. FrameBridge makes it super easy and affordable to frame your favorite things from art prints, posters, travel photos, sitting on your phone, everything. And you guys, Mother's Day is coming up. It's around the corner. FrameBridge truly is the perfect gift. In fact, select gifts ship next day. Wow, that's freaking amazing. Okay, guys, so how it works is you go to framebridge.com and you can upload your photo or they'll send you a packaging to safely mail in your physical pieces. Love that. Yeah, you can just like preview everything online, your styles, your frames, the gallery, the layout, whatever you want. And it's so easy to place your order. I absolutely just love the fact that you can kind of make it your own personalized experience. Me too. It's amazing. And I feel like as a gift, it's really, really cool. Whether it's some, a loved one in the family. It's more personal. Know, it's a personal gift. And I, for me, I'm the type of person where it's like, I just like want a card. Yeah. At the end of the day, because I want something yeah. personal. So the fact that Frange Bridge is a personalized gift for me is like really, really, really cool. So instead of paying hundreds that you pay at a regular framing store, their prices start at $39. And mm. all the shipping is free throughout the website. Plus, our listeners will get 15% off their first order at framebridge.com when they use the code full you guys you can get started today frame your photos or send someone the perfect gift all you gotta do is go to framebridge.com and use promo code full to save an additional 15 percent off your first order just go to framebridge.com promo code full that is framebridge.com promo code f-o-o-l Have you have you thought about doing another season? Of course. So like what what so, like what's going on with that? Like I want to know what's going okay. on with season tonight. Actually. Yeah, yeah. So the thing is, everything got well. Basically, it didn't get renewed for season five. Right, right. Um, they had new people come in, and they wanted to shift up everything that they were doing on the platform. Mm. So they no longer wanted to do anything scripted. Mm. And I know the show is like reality, mm -hmm. but there is scripted it's elements. It's scripted reality. Moments. Moments. It's expensive. It's one of their most expensive shows that they oh, had. So it. they couldn't afford it with mm -hmm. their new plan. Um, and so we went through the whole pitching process of season five mm -hmm. and thought it was just a done thing. And then they came back and was like, sorry, like we can't do it. So... Immediately, I was like, all right, let's this. Maybe this is a good thing because right. now we can take it somewhere bigger and make it even crazier. More intense, yeah. So we tried that. And the thing that we ran into issues with is because it's not like a, a show like Drag Race where each season is just self contained, mm -hmm. it has nothing to do with the previous seasons. It's easy for those to get moved around because it's right. a new season. You don't need to know anything prior. With this that show, was a story. yeah, the four seasons were all connected uh, to some degree with the storyline. Mm -hmm. That shifting to a new platform, um, starting on a season five, it Got just doesn't it. make sense. Like you're opening it up to yeah. a whole new audience that's gonna be like, "What is this show? Like, what's going on?" So, I'm not saying that there's not gonna be a season five because I'm still pushing for that. Mm -hmm. um, maybe all four seasons can come to a platform oh, and yeah. do a season five, but mm -hmm. finding the correct platform that would fit that has been the struggle. But I'm also pivoting to a spinoff of Escape the Night right now. So oh, I like that. shopping that around. I like so. that. I love that idea. That would you ever really do cool. more like that? Like where it's like half scripted yeah. half reality? Like mm -hmm. or it's like even like any other situation, like where it's not let's say Escape the Night, it's like something else. Yeah. Like entirely. Definitely. Then that'd be really cool. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think it's gonna be amazing. It's that. like a whole new genre. Apparently, like I invented this genre or something. I, feel I don't like, know. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So it's it's something brand new that that was another thing. It was hard for these to wrap their head around it to understand they're, they're like, like what's going on they don't get it it's scripted or it's unscripted like it's right so but the thing new. is weeks even during my season like i wasn't like scripted like there was no like actual scripted moments the actors than, like, were but the, other than the actors mm. yeah and where the storyline like, like yeah we, we don't scripted. know anything we have no idea what's going on yeah it's them like they know what's going on like they have a story mm -hmm. going on but us like the people that are actually in it have like we're just us. It's like role playing. Like it's we're just mm -hmm. like pretending. I'm the we're record in this producer, world. and I'm like, yeah. yeah. But like, it thought it was just me. And the we whole would time. make fake drama with each other. Yes, like, right, right, right. Just totally playing make believe. But That's it's cool. it's like fun though. It's like fun reality. Like I chill. love it because it feels like it's real because of all the surroundings you're in and the actors that mm -hmm. interact with you. It transports you to a new world. I love that. I, I want another too. season. I know. Me too. Okay, we have a random question we ask each guest, so we're gonna ask you. If you were given a billion dollars cash, cash, tax, tax free, free. Tax free, what would you do with it? And skip the charity. We we want we want to we, <laughs> we, we know we together. know you do your charity work. Mm -hmm. We know you do your charity the work. Joey's like absolutely not. Dollars. I would not. 
We know that would happen. <laughs> what a would billion. you do? A, a billion, billion with, a okay. with a B. So what would you buy? Mine is a yacht. His is a private jet. And just, what's just one? You can buy like, I mean, what's like just one thing like that you want for sure? I'm opening a full like movie studio. Like yeah. I would be making movies, TV shows. Like that's what I love. Doing I is wow. love creating that. World, so I, I'd go right you can have, like, An insane like set. We get a yeah. different Design. answer just, every time. Produce like all different movies. You can make and your TV own. Shows. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And have I your own, own network. Yeah. yeah. Too. You can have your own network. The Jerry Garcia Network. That's like my true Wolf. love. So if I could just keep doing that, oh, that's then so cool. I love I that. that. How many books do you have, Joey? I have four. Four books. He yeah. loves this world. Mm -hmm. The fantasy world. Like that's like me and Joey like bonded so heavily over like anime, anime and fantasy. Yeah. yeah. Like I love a fantasy world. Would you say world. the sci-fi fantasy world's your favorite? Yeah. Why is that? Is that do you feel like you like it was like escapism? Because for me, I feel like it's escapism yeah, in a I way. I think it was as a kid, mm -hmm. but I, there's just something that draws me to it. It's just so whimsy, it's magical. Fascinating yeah, too. no, I love it too. I feel like when I was younger with like the fantasy, because it wasn't real, and it's like you know, real life can be so difficult at times. Mm -hmm. So because it was fantasy, it was so far fetched that it was like this is so fascinating to me. It's like to, almost An like escape. you get to unplug. Yeah, Ooh, you know it's not real. You it's know what? Escape. I have another idea. What? Okay, so oh. I'll put half my money into right. the movie studio. Right. Ooh, okay, half okay. of it to like a West World type. Oh, place. oh my god! Like a really Ooh. immersive, like escape room type world. You that love you an enter. escape room. Like oh, it's almost like you get sent to the '90s and you get to fully Whoa, experience what that, that era was so like. Like all the technology cool. from there, or just everything, and just kind of re-experience. Something I think that, you need even more, even more than a billion dollars for that, something like that. Well, it will be. Let's like a just small say in half a, it's, it's hypothetically, like let's say it hypothetically let's say. that would be insane. Same. What kind of world would you do? Would it be like the nineties, or would it be like something yeah. insane? Like What's one a of the water worlds? world? Mm, I would. Does everyone get gills? I'd probably create my own like world that mm -hmm. people would go into. So maybe it would Joe be like a little world? There would be huskies everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. It'd be a husky nation. Husky nation. I love that. Do you have any projects that you're working on coming up? Yeah. This is like the weird thing. Like, I have so many things in the works, but it's like nothing's like on right now. So yeah. I'm just like itching to like do get, something. Get, get your hands into just something. Like, Hollywood moves so slow. Mm -hmm. It really mm -hmm. truly does. I feel like it's. I feel like digital moves fast because mm -hmm. everything's like pretty immediate. And in the Hollywood world, it's or traditional, I should say. Snails. Yeah. yeah. It's so weird. I feel like I can't, like, even, like, when I did Surreal Life last year, like, this was to come out in, like, September, and now it's, um, like, literally April, and this will be coming out in, like, July-ish time. Wow. July, August. And See, I'm, like, that's how it goes. not a whole ass literal year later. Mm -hmm. yeah, Instead of like, being, like, so six months. so much time has passed, you're going to be, like... I'm, like, I'm a huge I'm a different human. person. I'm a different person than when I would film yeah. that show, but it's, like, just, like crazy. Escape the Night was, like, we filmed in March, and it would come out in July. Like exactly, it was months. so quick. Yeah. Oh wow! It happens so they fast. They put to work, honey. Mm -hmm. They got that show out. Yeah. Wow. So I'm used to a much faster pace. Around. I'm the exact same yeah. way, and I like it to be like kind of like book, 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 like really intense, busy. I also have one more question too. I want to ask about dating life. Okay. How is it? Like, how is dating for you? Because I've been the single one like forever he has mm -hmm. been the single one i've always forever. been like the single one of all my friends i'm always the one that's single yeah and it's always like oh it's kind of difficult like, i have a difficult time dating but how is it for you i mean i have it also difficult i haven't dated in la like there's oh at all i've dated in england okay. god, 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 god like god. lots of, i love my british boys okay. love europeans mm -hmm. um but la it's i just find it hard it's to date tough here. in la and it's like i go on the apps and i'm just like swiping through and i'm like i'm i like They'll match with me and I'll just like leave them there. Uh -huh. And I, I like just don't match with them. <laughs> I'm just like, you just you never swipe right to yeah, them. Yeah, there's I'm just like waiting for that like Sp immediate uh, spark. Like you see someone, you're like, ooh. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. I feel like that's hard. It's so like I feel like I have like the apps to have like Hinge and Raya and I feel like it's just it's a mess on both on all of them. Yeah. I'll like go on a, and I I was like dating someone for like a few months and everything mm -hmm. and it was like going really really well and that kind of fell through and so now I'm like I gotta start again. Oh yeah. Like the so starting bad. over part so of annoying. dating After makes you put me in all that work and like effort and like literally violent. Yeah. Like I don't even know what else to say other than it makes me violent. Yeah, I no. hate it. I hate doing the reset. Yeah. I think maybe that's why I'm so picky. I'm like I need to pick the right person because I'm not I don't like 
You like date and for a long around. time. No, right. Yeah. Yeah. And you want to like date for like a while. Yeah, not like exactly. just dating around kind of thing. That's yeah. LA culture though. That dating yeah. around thing, I feel like. I mean, what would I know? But just from having you as a single friend, like I feel like, and like anyone I talk to, like, like what's everything better? is. What's better? Mm-hmm. It's literally like, oh, but like, can I get someone better? Oh That's my like the God. Of LA culture. That's like my biggest fear in a relationship is like, the guy that I'm dating is like on Instagram, like flirting with guys that I don't oh, know about. Yeah. Like that's yeah. my biggest fear. Like I need someone who maybe is not on social media. <laughs> part Good of me, luck, like, part of me right? Like, no. It's so hard to find though. It's so hard. And I also hard. like don't, but because I like the aspect of someone not knowing who I am, like online, like that they don't know I'm Manny Amiway. Like, yeah. I, there's like something about that. I'm like, ugh. I wish that's how it always was. Because it's like was. so fresh and new and they don't know anything about you. Like you're on the same page because you don't know anything about them. But then whenever they know, know you, they're other. already so ahead, you know. Mm-hmm. There's like this preconceived like notion. They know you're like everything who you've you dated. Guys, I hooked up with someone this. last week. Wait, I think I saw in your close stories. <laughs> and it wasn't good. <laughs> tell it wasn't do tell good. more. You guys, let's talk about it. These All are the right. best. I love these. I know, I know. Like the thing is, it was just yeah. was. I had like just like kind of stopped talking to the guy I was seeing, and I was like, I'm like sad, and so I was like, should mm-hmm. I just like go literally do a random fucking hookup? Like <laughs> I haven't done one of those in forever. Like a random like, let me go on a random dating or like a random hookup site, not site, like an app, and I'm like, yeah, like what are you up to? Very that energy. Mind you, they do message, you ever do this? They message no, me I've first. Never, I've never been on the like that the grinder. Like the grinder. I was on, on Scruff. Oh, I had like downloaded Scruff at the time. I had deleted it. I've deleted it since then because it was such a traumatic experience. <gasps> but I, so I was like, okay, I'm gonna like respond to guys if they hit me up. I'm gonna respond. So this guy hit me up. He was like, yo, what are you doing? And I'm like, oh, I'm at the gym. Like, what are you up to? And so he's like, oh, I'm like at my house. Like, do you want to come over after? <gasps> Wait, and I was like, he to you or you to him? him? He messaged me to come over to him to come over to his house. And it was because on Scruff you can see where you are around. Like, and it was Good like Lord. maybe like like a mile away. Okay. And so I'm like, okay. okay, like I can like head over there after the gym. And okay. I have you guys. I have not hooked up with like a stranger in so long. I was like literally like getting freaked out. Like, yeah. Like, like, I was like, okay, like what's gonna happen? So I was almost like chickening out at the same time. Mm-hmm. So I was like, he'd be like, okay, here. I'm like, I'm like, he's like, I'm walking to. This spot, I'm about to go up to my apartment. Like, I'll meet you at the front of my apartment. Oh, and so God. I'm like, okay. So I would like drove by it and I saw him outside and I was like, fuck, I'm gonna keep driving. And then <laughs> I kept, and then I kept driving. And then he had me, he's like, where are you at? And I'm like, fuck. And so I would turn around. And so I kept like, doing this like teetering thing where I was like, oh, sorry, like I like lost service. Like, didn't, and I did. Like, I, my phone died too. My phone died. And I was oh like, oh, he probably just think I like did that. So I turned, like, it turned back on when I was in my car. And I was like, okay, like, I'm not gonna do it. Like, this is like so crazy. I'm not gonna go. I'm like, not into hooking up like this anymore. So then he was like, are you going to come over or what? And I was like, yeah, I'll be right there. So I go drive up to him. And it's like, literally, it's so awkward because I'm like in my car. And he like, he's like, hey, like, do you want me? Like, I'll, t- I'll show you where to park. And then we can go like uh-huh. up to my apartment. And I'm like, sure. Comes into my car. And I'm literally just like sitting there like, hey, nice to meet <laughs> oh, you. The deep voice. It's oh, of course. Hey. And I'm literally, of course, I'm like, hey, Yo, like, what's up, what's bro? Up, bro? <laughs> <laughs> yes, literally, that's me. I'm like, hey, Is just, that just finish working. Just working, at, just finish working at the gym, no. bro. Like, just my fucking chest That's pump, what I you know? Do. I, hey. Hey. What I mean so wonder. I was like, okay, cool. So we park and we go upstairs into his, like, up his apartment. And I had like met his roommate was right there. So I was like, oh and my I God. Said, that also Awkward. killed me. I want to die. I don't want to meet the fucking roommate. Because like they know what you're there for. They know oh, what I'm there for. God. It's so uncomfortable. So then what I get there. Say? I literally was like, hi, it's so nice to meet you. No, like, do the voice, do the voice. Hey, what's up, dude? Like, I'm just here oh! to live. Like, literally so Who awkward. I want to die. So, I wanna die. so then I get up there, and he's like, oh, yeah. He's like, let me show you the black plant collection. So I'm like, okay. The what, what collection? His plant collection. Oh. On, his, on his balcony. Plant gay. He's a plant, so I was like, okay, he's giving plant gay. He's so, by the way, he's also like, literally so fine. Oh, wow. I was like, so gorgeous. I was like, oh, my God. Like, he's fine as fuck. Like, I was like. Shooky. You said, thank God I turned the car around. I said, damn, I'm, I'm so happy I did. <laughs> so I so I went outside looking at his plants. He was like really, really invested in the plants. And I was like, okay, cute, love it. We go back to his room. We're chilling. And like, it's kind of like the awkward thing where you're like, we're both sitting on the bed, but we don't really know like what's going to happen because we're oh, like, we're talking. I would, I would die. So then he gives me like a, a, a life story. He gives me his life story. Oh. Um, and it's actually a very traumatic life, by oh, the way. God. Like, it, it's like he's been through some <gasps> demons. Why, some why trauma. Did, why did you tell you this? I, I honestly really, I, I think I have like this way of like somehow pulling people things out. People want to open up. People want to open up to me. I get this a lot. It's people like that TikTok. Like, I've never to told anyone this. <laughs> 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 I tell everything to everyone. No, that's that's literally like 
fully That's unloaded experience fully unloaded his life story on me and i was like okay this is like kind of strange so it's like maybe like 11 45 this time did so you I'm like, tell okay. him that no Imagine i literally was like, like this is kind wow, of long this is crazy. Crazy. yeah i'm like an hour oh wow i'm not kidding maybe like an hour and 15 actually maybe. okay so it was girl siri, what are you doing, siri? siri? <laughs> don't even like oh wow do not try me siri <laughs> Um, Siri would follow So I literally was like, okay, this is like really awkward and uncomfortable. Okay. And so, okay, so then he goes, I need to show you like this like rapper that I really like. And I was like, okay. So he you know, turns on his TV, starts like playing this like rapper that I've never heard of that's like from the Caribbean and it's like a Caribbean rap. And he's like, let's watch these music videos. So we watched like maybe like five music videos oh my back God. to back. That's you guys, so, th- it I was hate that. trauma. It was fun. I was like, so then I found after the fifth one, I was like, you know, I, it's getting late. I, I got to get going because it's like midnight now. Right. So I'm like, Dang, okay, I got to get that's going. Late. That's it's like kind of late for me. I got to go. So I, I get up off the bed and I literally am like well, going to put my shoes on because I walk. So then he, as I'm getting up, he grabs my arm. Finally. And like pulls me back in and then we start like making out. And I'm like, final fucking Lee, like something's going on. Like, yeah. This is like what I was waiting for. This whole time. I don't want to be here for two hours. <laughs> Having a life you don't story. Want to listen to those music videos. <laughs> and I don't want to watch his music videos. Like I don't want to do any Imagine of that. Imagine sitting there listening, just in there watching. He pulls me back. We we make out. We like do the thing. Whatever. I go hop in the shower afterwards, right? Because I'm like, okay, I'm in the shower and like get going. He jumps into the shower. Oh lord. Like, there as well. He like jumps Wait, in behind but me. How was it? Was it good? It was good. Oh, okay. It was good. the experience was. I mean, it was like kind of good. It was like. I haven't like hooked up Does with someone in so long. Does he listen to full coverage? I hope not. Imagine. I fucking hope not. But I haven't hooked up in like so long, so yeah. I was like, kind of like I would like kind of forget that I was hooking up. And I'm like, oh, like what's going on again? Like it almost like would like detach from the moment, mm-hmm. and I'd be like, oh fuck, I'm like literally in the middle of like hooking up right now. Like, I need to like focus again. So I would like almost like forget. Um, so it was it was still good. It was a good experience. And then I so I'm like, okay, I'm gonna go shower real quick. Shower off. He comes behind me. So he's like very quirky, right? He's like kind of weird. So hot, but so weird at the same time. I kind of love that. No, but it's like. Uh oh. No. But I'm talking like no. weird, like life story weird. Let's watch these like rap videos. <laughs> weird. I'm not talking like cutesy, like, quirky. Love that, he's he like, comes, so he comes behind me, right? He's thing. behind me. He's like kind of like ru- wiping my back down, like rubbing it. I'm like, okay, whatever. He starts like doing this and he's like pulling out like random hairs on my back. Die. <laughs> <laughs> Die. <laughs> <laughs> Ty just died. Ty just listened. He starts pulling out random like little hair sample in my back. And I'm like, what <laughs> the fuck? Oh, like a little Art? monkey. Like. No, literally like a little monkey. And I'm like, what's go? He's like, oh, there's like, there's like, <laughs> I told him to get these, these random hairs. And I was like, please get away. Bro, what the fuck is going on? So I'm like, oh you my get God. You some weird shit. And I'm like, okay. <laughs> And, yeah, I, and I just I've heard stories about you with that girl in the bathroom that followed you in there. Uh, that's no, true. She, I think she's, she's gone through shit too. We both gone through some shit. That girl okay, wanted me to coke with her. No, literally. That was a stranger. <laughs> I was like, that was a good one. So we started pull like plucking and like like I have to say, like literally there's like five he pulled off five little random hairs and I was like, okay, so then he starts going like this and he starts popping oh! my zits on my back. I'm and be I'm sick. like You guys, I'm not kidding. He starts like literally like pinch and i was like ow 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 and i'm like what are you doing he's like oh like it's like there's like a blackhead i wanted to grab and i'm like <laughs> bro we like dead ass just that's fucking the met. thing that people do after they've been together for years this years. guy you hooked up with he's pulling phone. out my little and i'm like do you think we're getting married like what's going on <laughs> oh and so God. i finally i was why like was okay this not your pit of the week or like, pee. like, why wouldn't you leave I forgot. With this story? I, honestly, I forgot about it because I think I blocked Manny. that out of my mind. <laughs> you guys, I think I really blocked this out of my mind because I like it's it's not good. It's a doozy. This is hilarious. So I literally was like, okay, I think I really I gotta get oh. going, bro. Um, and so I was like, okay, cool. Like, you know, it's one in the morning. I was like, okay, I gotta get going. After he like popped two, I was like, mm. after two, you're after done. two, I was like, you're, you're done. done, you're done. <laughs> so that was literally me, and I was like, okay, I gotta get going. So sorry. So then I ended up leaving. And I was just like walking to the car and I was like, I can't life not. choices. I'm literally like envisioning it and I can't stop laughing. Oh yeah, like, I, I saw so the whole funny. movie in my head. Me too. No, you guys, can, I need you guys to imagine my face, the first <laughs> pluck of the hair. I want you guys to imagine what I reacted like because it truly was trauma. <laughs> That's so funny to me. So it really was a traumatic experience. So I don't think I'm ever hooking up ever again after that. Yes, you are, please. No, oh no my I'm God. done. I deleted oh, the app. Just <laughs> 
one year now. I used to get one a year, and that was my bad. <laughs> and that year. was my bad. It was bad. Like, but the hookup was good. good. It ended really weird, and you got through. It started weird, and, and now it ended you're weird. into Caribbean music, and it's great. I can't say that I am. <laughs> I can't say that I am. But uh, that was that. Wow. All right. Well, all right, Joey. Any last words? <laughs> it's not like you're gonna shoot it. <laughs> Any last before words before take, you walk the plane? Before, that before we take Joey's like back. <laughs> Joey's like I'm shaking. I'm so traumatized from that story. No, yeah, I know you guys. Yeah, it, it was a doozy. There. It really was a doozy. I can't even. This was fun. Describe. Thanks for having me, guys. Thank uh, you for coming. Thank you for coming. We appreciate we love you, you coming on. You know we love you. Let's go to dinner. Love you guys. Let's yeah, go let's eat dinner. Let's We're going to eat dinner now. We love you guys so much. Thank you, full family, for watching, subscribing, listening, dealing with my bullshit drama. And trauma. I wish you would have led that that story, but it was great. <laughs> I hope the listeners that here at the cool. end, like, please just listen to the end of the film. <laughs> we love you, and we'll see you guys later. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye. Bye.